How to annotate an article. Annotating a text means that you take notes in the margins and make other markings for reading comprehension. Many people use annotation as part of academic research or to further their understanding of a certain work. To annotate an article, you'll need to ask questions as you go through the text, focus on themes, circle terms you don't understand, and write your opinions on the text's claims. You can annotate an article by hand or with an online note-taking program. Following general annotation procedures. Mark down the source information. At the top of the document or annotation page, write down all of the citation information. If you know the citation style that you will be using, such as MLA or APA, it is even better if you can create an initial rough citation. Later on, you can gather all of these citations together to form a bibliography or works cited page, if required. If you are working with a source that frequently changes, such as a newspaper or website, make sure to mark down the accession date or number the year the piece was acquired and or where it came from. Later on, you can gather all of these citations together to form a bibliography or works cited page, if required. If you are working with a source that frequently changes, such as a newspaper or website, make sure to mark down the accession date or number the year the piece was acquired and or where it came from. Understand your reading goals. If you are reading for your own personal work, then focus on finding information connected to your research goals. If you are working on a class assignment, consider what goals your teacher might have for you. They may want you to concentrate on creating a series of response questions or perhaps locating the main idea. If you were given an assignment sheet with listed objectives, you might look over your completed annotation and check off each objective when finished. This will ensure that you've met all of the requirements. If you were given an assignment sheet with listed objectives, you might look over your completed annotation and check off each objective when finished. This will ensure that you've met all of the requirements. Annotate as you read the article. It may be tempting to read through a work without making notes, but resist this urge. Feel free to read a piece multiple times, but make sure to write down your notes for each round. This will allow you to capture your reactions and responses multiple times over. Ask questions as you go through the text. In the margins or alongside the text, make note of any questions that you have. It is not necessary to create any particular symbol for these, just end each statement with a question mark. You can write down questions that you have or those that you would like your teacher to help you answer. You can also write down questions that you plan to bring up during a class discussion. For example, you might write, what does everyone think about this sentence? Or, if your reading connects to a future writing assignment, you can ask questions that connect to that work. You can also write down questions that you plan to bring up during a class discussion. For example, you might write, what does everyone think about this sentence? Or, if your reading connects to a future writing assignment, you can ask questions that connect to that work. Focus on themes and connections to your class topics. Try to place your reading into context with your class experiences and your general life experiences. To mark down these connections, you might draw lines between bracketed portions of the text. Then, you can write down the theme that you are interested in on the line itself or next to one of the brackets. You could write, connects to the theme of hope and redemption discussed in class. You could write, connects to the theme of hope and redemption discussed in class. Circle words or concepts that you don't understand. Use your annotations to remind you of what you need to do more research on. By circling your areas of confusion, this will allow you to then go back and look up whatever you need to. As an alternative to circles, you could simply write a question mark next to confusing passages. Use whatever symbol marking system works for you. Just make sure that you are consistent in your use of certain symbols. As you review your notes, you can create a list of all of the particular words that are circled. This may make it easier to look them up. For example, if the tone of the work changes mid-paragraph, you might write a question mark next to that section. Use whatever symbol marking system works for you. Just make sure that you are consistent in your use of certain symbols. As you review your notes, you can create a list of all of the particular words that are circled. This may make it easier to look them up. For example, if the tone of the work changes mid-paragraph, you might write a question mark next to that section. Pay attention to the thesis and topic sentences. These are the most important parts of any work. As you read through the document, try to locate this information and underline it. 
The thesis will come early on in the work, as it outlines the major argument to be made. The topic sentences let you know what to expect for each paragraph. To increase your reading comprehension even more, you might want to write down the thesis statement in the margins in your own words. The thesis sentence might start with a statement, such as, I argue. To increase your reading comprehension even more, you might want to write down the thesis statement in the margins in your own words. The thesis sentence might start with a statement, such as, I argue. Research the author. Enter the author's name into a search engine and scroll through the results. See if you can download or preview a few of their works. If they have a website, visit it and learn what you can about their professional background. Try to determine their motivations for creating the piece that you are currently reading. For example, reading online reviews can help you to determine whether or not the work is controversial or has been received without much fanfare. If there are multiple authors for the work, start by researching the first name listed. Write down your opinions. Don't be afraid to write whatever you feel or your reactions into the margins of a text. This will help you to create personal connections to your reading and will also make it easier to remember it as well. As you are reading, don't be concerned about being right or wrong with your initial notes. You might write, this may contradict any earlier section, or, I don't agree with this. You might write, this may contradict any earlier section, or, I don't agree with this.